Tag TV brings you daily news bulletin from India. Breaking news and views from India. You're watching South Asia News Line and here are the top stories we are tracking for you on Tuesday, the 2nd of January. India has thwarted Pakistan's cross-border terrorism plan by not playing that game, says Jay Shankar. Pakistan PM loses school, says Baloch protest, blown out of proportion. And Bangladesh opposition alleges crackdown ahead of January 7 vote. And now for all the details, India has thwarted Pakistan's policy of using cross-border terrorism to bring it on the table for dialogue, India's Foreign Minister S. Jay Shankar said on Tuesday. In conversation with ANI, the Foreign Minister said New Delhi will not deal with Islamabad on terms where the practice of terrorism is deemed as legitimate. He said India is no longer playing that game and will not tolerate attempts by Islamabad to create unrest through cross-border terrorism. Pakistan was trying to do, uh, not now, but over multiple decades, was really to use cross-border terrorism to bring India to the table. Okay? That, in essence, was its core policy. We have made that irrelevant by not, you know, not playing that game. Mm. Uh, now, uh, it's not a case that we, you know, that we don't, uh, uh, will not deal with a neighbor. After all, at the end of the day, a neighbor is a neighbor. But it is that we will not deal, you know, on the basis of terms that they set where, where the practice of terrorism is deemed as legitimate. Talking about Indo-Canadian relations, the Indian Foreign Minister said Canadian politics has given space to Khalistani elements, allowing them to indulge in activities that has an adverse impact on bilateral relations between the two countries. He said such actions are not in interest of either Canada or India. Notably, ties between New Delhi and Ottawa has turned sour after Canada linked Indian government in the killing of Khalistani terrorist Hardeep Singh Nijjar. India has termed the Canadian allegations as absurd. The issue at heart is the fact that in Canadian politics, uh, these Khalistani forces have been given a lot of space and have been allowed to indulge in activities which uh, I, I think are damaging to the relationship, clearly not in India's interest, but I would argue not in Canada's interest either. But unfortunately, that is the state of their politics. There was no respite for the national capital from bone chilling cold on Tuesday as the city woke up to another icy morning with the minimum temperature in the ridge area of the national capital dropping below the freezing point at minus 0.3 Celsius. With the mercury taking a downward shift, locals were pictured sitting around bonfires as the biting cold chilled them to the bone. Similar conditions were witnessed in parts of northern India, with dense fog shrouding the region, reducing the visibility significantly. Issuing fog alerts for coming days, the Indian Meteorological Department has warned cold wave condition is likely to persist in the region. As Baloch activists continued their protest against the extrajudicial killing and enforced disappearances of their loved ones in Pakistan's Pakistan capital Islamabad, caretaker Prime Minister Anwarul Hakkakar on Monday took exception to the support lent to the protesters. A visibly irked Kakar said those who are supporting the Baloch protest could go and join the militants that Dawn News reported on Tuesday. He said the Baloch issue has been blown out of proportion and some people are trying to mislead everyone by turning protesters into fake heroes of human rights. Meanwhile, Baloch protesters have called a shutdown demonstration throughout Pakistan on Jan 3 over the atrocities against ethnic Baloch people. Activists have long claimed Baloch people have been targets of so-called military operations to instill fear and exert control over the Baloch people who have been demanding independence from Pakistan's occupation. 
People in the Karachi city of Pakistan have raised their concern over rising inflation and unemployment in the country, which has disrupted the daily lives. A report. Residents in Pakistan's Karachi city have raised concern over the unemployment and inflation as it has affected their daily lives. They said soon after Pakistan became a country, contracting systems started which led to the increase in unemployment as it hired people on a low salary because of the insurance and medical savings. They lamented that due to rising inflation, they have to borrow money from people as they cannot buy food items. Persistently high inflation has put severe strain on the South Asian country's economy, which is reeling from falling foreign exchange reserves and a widening current account deficit. The situation has shattered the people's faith in the government to eradicate poverty and create jobs and they feel the rulers are only doing lip service. Taliban appointed Defense Minister Malvi Muhammad Yaqub Mujahid on Monday claimed attacks in Afghanistan after the Taliban takeover was conducted by foreign nationals, particularly citizens of Tajikistan and Pakistan. After the Islamic Emirate came into power, the attacks were all carried out by foreigners, especially the citizens of Tajikistan. Pakistani citizens too have been involved in organizing many attacks. Mujahid was quoted as saying by Tolo News. He said Taliban will ensure security in Afghanistan and urged neighboring nations to seriously control their land and air borders. Notably, Pakistan in past has blamed Kabul for providing safe havens to militants for training and conducting attacks in its territory. However, Afghanistan denies the allegation. With a week left for the polls in Bangladesh, the main opposition party Bangladesh Nationalist Party leaders are on run as they try to evade crackdown by authorities on opponents. Talking to Reuters, BNP leader Abdul Moin Khan claims almost 10 million party workers are on the run after the arrest of nearly 25,000 following the deadly anti-government protest in October. This situation has created a fear factor in the minds of all of our party leaders as well as our rank and file workers, Khan was quoted as saying by the news agency. Almost 300 fictitious cases, they're totally false and they're totally concocted cases that has been filed against our party workers and leaders and 25,000 of our party leaders and workers, starting from our Secretary General down to the grassroots level, have been taken into custody. They were already hunting the opposition leaders, in particular, in their homes. And this situation had created, as I said, a fear factor in the minds of all of our party leaders as well as our rank and file workers. BNP, which has demanded the polls to be conducted under a caretaker government, is boycotting the 2024 general elections. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina, who is seeking a fourth term, has repeatedly condemned the BNP as troublemakers out to sabotage the elections, rebuffing warnings by rights groups that the crackdown aimed to subdue the opposition. The three-day-long National Street Food Festival 2023 concluded this past weekend in capital New Delhi. Organized by NASVI, the National Association of Street Vendors of India, the event was the first zero-way street food festival in India, which saw participations by street food vendors from across India, serving delicious delicacies from various states to visitors. The 13th edition of the Gastronomical Festival also featured stalls of vendors from Nepal, Turkey and Afghanistan serving traditional food items of the region. Vendors and event goers termed such festival important to promote the traditional delicacies alive. Oh, so this is our 13th edition. We began in a very small way and basically we want to let people know that that there is so much diversity and there is so much taste in street food and this street food should not be corporatized 
it should remain with the street food vendors because it is also they also uh, promote the local culture experience aapko bahut acha laga yahan par main order se aaya hu aur maine bahut sari cheeze khai lekin sabse badhiya cheeze mujhe yahan pe lagi do ek daulat ki chaat और दूसरा बैम्बू चिकन वो बहुत यूनिक था और मैंने कभी उसे दिल्ली में कभी देखा नहीं था यहाँ पे बहुत अलग अलग पार्ट से, से इंडिया के चीज़ें आई हैं तो हर फूडी का यहाँ पे आना मस्ट है टैग टीवी ब्रिंग्स यू डेली न्यूज बुलेटिन फ्रॉम इंडिया ब्रेकिंग न्यूज एंड व्यूज फ्रॉम इंडिया